So today we're gonna to be making and decorating our very own cork coasters. So as we can see here, I bought a large piece of cork and then what I did was I measured it out with a ruler. I made five by five inch squares, which is a little bit big, but I think it'll be a little bit easier to see what we're doing. But you can make, of course, whatever size you want and whatever shape you want. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be decorating them and we're gonna make a set of four uh, four coasters with the same colors but slightly different design. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some washi tape and we're going to make lines across the cork. We're going to stick it on like so and make sure it's stuck on really really well so that no paint will seep under. So here's one line and we'll just put them randomly across. You can do two lines, you can do three lines, whatever, whatever seems right. Okay, so fast forward a bit. I finished up uh, the washi tape. Now the washi tape has um, two purposes. For one thing, it gives us nice, clean, straight lines. And for another thing, at the very end, we're gonna take off the washi tape and what it'll leave is stripes of cork, which will give us the natural feeling that we wanna keep with our cork coasters. Now here I have a whole bunch of different paintbrushes. I'll just take a random one and start painting. Wow. I have pretty big area, so I guess I could take the big ones. Um, I have basic primary colors. I think I'm going to use those, but you can use whatever colors you want. These are just plain, non-toxic paints. And you can just paint away whatever you want. Go with some red here. Now, if you do one layer, you're going to still see the cork grain underneath it. And the more layers you do, the more opaque it'll be. But that's each person in their own style what they want to do. I do recommend when you paint, painting from the washi tape towards the cork so it doesn't um, seep under as much. So I'm just going to take um, one square on each one area on each cork board. Thankfully these are washable paints, so I don't have to worry about my table. Hopefully that'll come right off at the end. And just like so. So as you can see, we're just finishing up the um, painting here. Now, in hindsight, I recommend putting some newspaper down on the um, on your workspace, but it's really not such a big deal because after all, it is washable plain paint. So we're gonna finish up. Some yellow. Okay, so what we can see here is that we've really achieved a bit of a stained glass effect. Now, right now we have to wait for them to dry for a few minutes. Um, it shouldn't take too long because it's a pretty thin layer. I wanted to be able to see the cork grain underneath it. Um, but I think even though it's still a bit wet, I think we can already start taking it off. So just so we can see how it looks. So as you can see, we're going to rip this off. There's one. Okay, so now we can see we took off the um, the washi tape and what we have is a very beautiful set, if I do say so myself, um, of primary colors, beautiful stained glass window cork coasters. Now I also have some plain glitter glue, as you can see here, that we can add on top of it or not. We could have added it before the washi tape, you can add it afterwards, like a thin layer over the whole thing, however you want to play with it, but that's already your um, your call. And that's it. So here we have our beautiful set.